What's going on YouTube? Geosnorik here. So in today's video we have some news on the Meridian jailbreak development, but also we're going to discuss some important information for everybody that wants to jailbreak, even iOS 11.3, iOS 11.2, iOS 10.3.3 and so on. So this video will apply for everybody who is waiting for a jailbreak, not only for the Meridian users, but it mostly concerns them because they're running on iOS 10. So I'm going to talk about the Meridian jailbreak. Now we have a new statement from IB Sparks, who is the developer of this jailbreak. You probably know that currently it's in public beta 6 and it's being developed privately in the background to support Cydia and all that good stuff. Now it's been developed for quite a while now and you have to understand that IB Sparks is also learning by doing this and it's his first jailbreak. But anyways, we got a new statement from him just nine hours ago. My exams just started this week and will last until the week beginning 18th of June. I have three or so exams that week, but they are not as important. I have 21 in total, four of which I have completed thus far. I've also recently started up an actual paid project for my freelance work so I don't have as much time on my hands. In terms of progress, there are effectively two things left doing, both of which are rather difficult. First, dealing with people who've already installed other jailbreaks, etc., without necessarily making them use CDI Eraser, the main problem here is the DPKG database, and then addressing the final panic freeze issue that's still lingering. Now, the jailbreak, as you can see, is very, very close to be completed. And of course, at this point, I think Think the jailbreak is very stable even though it still has a final panic or a freeze but anyways if you're deciding to wait for Meridian you should stay on the version you are at but there is a catch to that and a lot of people are asking me whether they should update now that a few jailbreaks for the iOS 11.3.1 have been demonstrated by both MinSpark Zeng and by sorry my bad to individual security researchers and iOS 11.3.1 is currently signed but it won't stay signed for so long, because iOS 11.4 is in beta 6, which is most likely the gold master, which means that once iOS 11.4 is out, iOS 11.3.1 will be in danger of being unsigned. So I get a lot of questions that are pretty good. For example, what should I do? Should I update to 11.3.1 while I still can and wait for whatever sorry my bad or mean spark zing will drop if they decide to drop something? Or should I wait for the Meridian, which is 100% sure that it will come and it's for iOS 10. And the question is not actually only related to the iOS 11.3.1 itself, but also related to the compatibility of the apps. Since Meridian is working for iOS 10.3.3 and lower, this means that you are pretty much uh, forced to use an older version of iOS. By now, iOS 10.3.3 is kind of old. iOS 10.2, for example, is definitely old. And although most applications still work with these versions nowadays, I expect that in the future, for example, when iOS 12 gets released, some applications will stop working on iOS 10 or will no longer receive updates for the iOS 10. And that's probably something that will happen the same way it happened for iOS 8 and iOS 9. So you have to keep this in mind as well. If you're using a lot of applications that require updates and that require you to have access to the App Store and be able to download updates, then you probably should consider iOS 11.3.1, although there is no word on an actual release. They're just demos for the jailbreaks. There might never come or they may come next month. We do not know. But at the same time, if you do not use applications that much on your device, I mean applications from the App Store that run the risk of no longer functioning at some point because you have an older iOS version, then you are probably safer to stay on the iOS 10.3.3 and waiting for the Meridian. Now, the Meridian jailbreak is actually very useful for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices because the other devices, iPhone 6s and so on, are compatible with Goblin, are compatible with Double Helix and so on. So there are other jailbreaks that are already released and probably those users are already using Cydia and stuff like that. In the end, it's your decision. You should probably go ahead and calculate the risks of staying on iOS 10. At the same time, calculate the risks of updating to 11.3.1. And I'm talking here about the fact that there are demos of jailbreaks, but not a word on releases for the moment. So. If you decide to upgrade from iOS 10.3.3 to 11.3.1, that should be your decision. 
I would definitely stay on the iOS 10.3.3 since I don't use applications that much and I don't care if my device will no longer be supported by applications in the future. Most applications that I use will probably work up until the end of the phone, but the applications that I use are probably not the applications that you use, so you should probably keep that in mind and calculate the risks and of course decide on whether you should stay on iOS 10.3.3 and wait for Meridian or go ahead and update on 11.3.3. 3.1 and wait for whatever these guys would drop if they decide to drop anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, that's pretty much what IB Sparks has to say, he is currently very busy with exams and a project he has, but he definitely has made progress on the Meridian Jailbreak and there are only two problems left to fix, which means that Meridian Jailbreak shouldn't be that far, but we do not have an ATA and we probably will not have an ATA until the moment it gets released. So whether you stay and wait for the Meridian Jailbreak is your choice. I would recommend it if your situation allows it. For example, if you don't need to use applications that might get obsolete on iOS 10 in the future. And at the same time, if you want to update to 11.3.1, .1, you're free to do so, but it's your decision. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.